Okay, hey guys. Uh, it's probably a little weird that you're watching a recording. I don't know if you've ever done that with a teacher before. Uh, it is weird because there's nobody in this room, so it's weird for me too. But not really. I've done it before. Um, plus, I can talk no matter if people are here or not. Anyways, so this is kind of like a warm up. It's going to be different because I'm not here, but this is Capuano's here, obviously, you know that. You're going to be given this worksheet right here to work on after I do my spiel. Also, this worksheet here, the one that says matter, substances versus mixture. So this worksheet, I hope you still have it. Because the back you're gonna do in class as well, right now, today. All right, not right now, in a little bit. So I copied five, so there's five extras, but that's for you guys and period six. So, um, well, I say you guys, like I'm only talking to both periods, but anyways, you know what I mean. So I really hope you can find this because I only have five extras for both classes. We're going to be doing this side later, okay? All right, uh, let's see here. So, okay, the warm up. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I know it's going to be hard to read at this size, so let me zoom in and then I'll read the question out loud, all right? So let me zoom in here. Let's go to 200%, see if that'll Fit on the screen. Whoops. Fit on the screen. Fit. All right. Let's let's do that. So up here you see there is a uh, key. This is the same key every year, forever and ever, on a regents. If they give you a particle diagram, the white one will be an atom of one element, and the black one will be an atom of a different. Since there's no color, obviously it's white and black. They will not do any weird symbols. That's not true. I saw one time, one year, one question. It was actually a short answer, uh, but they had some weird symbols. But let's not worry about one question ever, all right? So most of the time, it's just the white one and the black one. Okay, the question is, which one, one, two, three, or four, cannot be broken down? Which one cannot be broken down? And that's what it says. Which particle diagram represents a sample of matter that cannot and not is italicized, be broken down by chemical means, which cannot be broken down, by chemical means is the key, that's important, cannot be broken down by chemical means. So since I'm not here, I would usually, the bell still work, by the way, um, I would usually give you time and then we raise our hand or whatever and talk about it, but I'm just gonna go over it with you. So hopefully at this point, you are pretty comfortable at least with identifying certain particles, like this is an atom, also an element. This and this are two different molecules. What's a molecule? Two or more atoms touching, right? So there's a molecule, there's a molecule. These are also called compounds because there's two different colors touching, bonded, right? This is one type of compound, like water, two H's in an O, Mickey Mouse. This could be NaCl, this could be carbon monoxide, let's say, CNO, that's a different compound. Okay. Uh, this is the same compound as this, right? Except this one is a pure compound because every particle is identical. This is a mixture because they're different, right? These two are different than those three. So that's a mixture, that's a pure substance, a compound. This is also a pure substance, it's an element because those are atoms and an atom is an element. All right, and there's not anything else in there. Then up here is this compound, water, but it's only water, so it's a compound, and it's a pure substance, I'm sorry, a pure substance, the same molecule is, is uh, in the box, there's nothing different, it's uniform, has the same composition everywhere, so that is a compound. So this is a sample of water, let's say, this is a sample of carbon monoxide, let's say, nothing else in there, nothing else in here else in here. So these are pure substances. This is a mixture. All right. So I just said that a bunch of times, different ways. Hope you guys are good with that because you'll need to be able to do, you know, identify that on the home or the, uh, the worksheet here, which is homework if you don't finish it, but you will. Um, anyways, this is the answer, number four. And again, if I was here, I would say someone tell me why, but I'll just answer that. Because elements, if you knew this was an element, you knew this was a mixture of compounds, you knew this was a compound, you knew this is a compound, 
elements cannot be broken down. They are the simplest form of matter. You can break down mixtures physically, but you can break down compounds chemically, right? So you can separate these two atoms chemically, you can separate those atoms chemically, you could separate this mixture physically, and then take each compound and separate them chemically. Theoretically, now, it's very hard to do that. Yeah, you can run electricity through water. We, I showed you that last week in bubbles, but it's not even really that simple. Uh, but anyways, the answer is four. So you need to know two things to answer this question, right? How do you need to know about particle diagrams, right? What does an element look like? And you need to remember elements cannot be chemically broken down. Elements cannot be broken down. So you need to know that first and then apply it to the particle diagram. It's a good Regents question, okay? So take your notes out if you haven't already. I'm gonna go turn the lights on. I'll be back. Okay, so I only need probably uh, five. I literally always lose the mark. Here we go. Um, five minutes or so. I'm going to just kind of reiterate what I just went over with the warm up. All right, so if you already have this in your notes, you don't have to copy it, just listen, pay attention. Uh, and then Mrs. Capuano will give you the, uh, this worksheet, this is new, and then hopefully you have that other one right here, this one, okay, uh, because you're doing both of those in five minutes. All right, here we go. So I just wanna make sure you remember what the word binary means, because that's on the uh, worksheet here. Binary means two different elements. It has nothing to do with the number of atoms, just the type of elements, right? So this particle diagram is binary. Again, like carbon monoxide, CO, or NaCl, binary. Water is also binary. H2O has two elements hydrogen and an oxygen. Yes, there's two, o, uh, two H's. There's two H's, the ears, right, Mickey Mouse. Two H's, but it's still called binary because of two different elements, okay? Another one that you might see, and it's on the uh, worksheet, it looks something like this. I can't remember if the middle is shaded or if those are shaded. That's like carbon tetrachloride, CCL4, a weird compound, I'll give you that, uh, but it's binary. Why? C and CO. There isn't a third element. What is not binary is like sugar, C12, H22O11. It has three elements. Forget the 12, 22, 11. It's just the number of elements, all right? So that's what binary means. So hopefully, I'm not going too fast. I'll wait like 20 seconds here. Make sure you get that down, just because that'll help on the uh, worksheet. Okay, all right, so binary, uh, we just did that, monatomic, mono, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Yeah, monatomic, monatomic, what does that mean? It means one single atom. So monatomic is either one shaded, one black, or one white. That's it, that's what monatomic means. Now you could have a box full of these, okay? Oops, see, can't get too close. I don't want to touch them. So that would be a monatomic, let's say, gas. Monatomic gas, like any of the noble gases, right? Can't be a Honkelbrif, right? If it's a Honkelbrif, then it's diatomic. You already have notes on that. Diatomic, diatomic looks like this or like this, okay? So that word's on the worst. You know, monatomic just means single atoms, and you could have literally like a million single atoms in the box. It's still called monatomic because the simplest part of that sample is one circle. One atom, doesn't matter what color, okay? Diatomic would be a bricks, right? Hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, chlorine, bromine, iodine, chlorine. Okay, so make sure you get that down. Just making 
temperature. That's kind of it. If you know a monatomic means, diatomic, and binary, then the rest of the terms we've already kind of practiced. Element, compound, mixture. All right, you have notes. You did that other worksheet you can look at. All right, so hopefully that's enough time to uh, copy that down. All right, and that covers this sheet here. Oh, uh, solids, liquids, and gases. Just be aware, right, if you have a solid, it's going to be down at the bottom of the box, okay, very close together. If you have a liquid, it's going to be close together but kind of disorganized, something like that. That would be a liquid, that's a solid, and then obviously, I feel like everybody gets the gas by now, so a gas would fill up the container and be kind of randomly all over the place, right? So. If they ask for a binary gaseous compound, that would be, right, you're combining all these terms. So you need to know what is binary, what is compound, what's gaseous, right? Binary gaseous compound would be a gas that is a compound with only two elements. So again, I'll just use an example here. That's binary, carbon dioxide, CO2, is binary, two elements. Yes, it has three atoms, but only two elements. Hopefully I've said that enough, you guys got it. So gaseous, or I'm um, sorry, let me back up. Binary, and that's a compound, two different colors. So we're good. Gaseous just means it's spread out, and it fills the box, something like this. All right, and there we go. That, so on the homework, the worksheet, you're looking for a gaseous binary compound, that would be an answer because that's exactly what that is. All right, so that's just an example. You're gonna work on the worksheet by yourself for about, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes or so, 15, Mrs. Cap, you want to can judge that. You know, if everyone's done, then, then you're done. If you don't need 15 minutes, then you guys don't need 15 minutes. Um, when you're done with that, have you pair up these two rows and those two rows. Pair up, compare your answers. If there's any discrepancy or differences, try and figure it out. And I'm gonna have Mrs. Capuano uh, read the answers. Okay, so, tech, so this really shouldn't be homework. You're gonna get the answers from Mrs. Capuano. It should hopefully match uh, what everybody says. And then at the end, you're gonna hand it in. Okay, you're gonna hand it in to Mrs. Capuano. And then I'll check it off when I get here Wednesday morning. Um, once you're done with this sheet, so you're doing this sheet first. Once everyone's done and handed it in, now you're doing this, this, okay? This is the front, you already did this. We're gonna do the back. If you guys run out of time, this is homework. This is due tomorrow, Wednesday. All right, so I will check this. Probably won't remember to send out a remind, so I'm telling you, this is due tomorrow. Okay, I will check this Wednesday, and hopefully after what you just saw and you do the worksheet, you know, you feel good. And you, and you can do this. This is kind of a hard problem. I'm not gonna give you any help on it right now. I just wanna see how you do. It's okay if you get it wrong. We'll go over it on Wednesday. All right, so that's it. I am done. Um, Quinn, the Yankees, they play tonight, they play tomorrow. I don't know if they play again this weekend, but hopefully I come in Wednesday and uh, the Yankees have to leave the series.